have a senior song. So will Jack and Jonah please step forward? <laughs> I waited until last minute to write this speech. Um, but hopefully I'll pull a Jonah and this will practice. Hopefully it'll be pretty good. So Jonah, Jonah's many thanks to me. He's um, a lover, a friend. <laughs> <laughs> and he's pretty much the a lover. <laughs> he's pretty much the closest thing to a twin I think I'll ever have. Uh, over the past two and a half years we've sang together, cooked together, and even lived together this summer. But I think some of my favorite memories of him with him are from our semi-annual Friday brunches. Um, we do do them together before our English class we have together. And Jonah always puts on some smooth jazz, or like a new album or something like that. And we cook up some like eggs and sometimes pancakes. And almost always we get a visit from another 33 Northwood resident, or Maddie Bowman, who's cool. During these brunches, when we talk about life, love, and assignments that we just haven't started yet. Um, and I'm starting my days this week because I was at home with um, I can hardly imagine life without Jonah, let alone um, hotics without Jonah. While he was abroad last semester, um, I did try to take up the mantle of, of that one guy who shouts like, Woo! Or, yeah! But, <laughs> <laughs> but suffice to say, I'll take... Um, <laughs> nobody ever has this problem like Jonah. Honestly, though, um, I know whatever the future holds for us, life will never take you far from me. Mostly because you'll probably borrow my car and need to return it. <laughs> uh, I just want to end by saying that um, uh, I, I love you like family, man. And um, you're always invited to full brunch on Fridays. <laughs>
Thank you to take off your ashes, please sing along. 